Good evening, wonderful viewers. I am the Marine Painter and tonight we are going to talk about this painting and the demise of HMS Sussex in 1694. She was a brand new ship, having been launched just a year earlier and sinking on a maiden voyage with the loss of almost all her crew and 10 tons of gold coins. First we start with a quick sketch to get a grasp on the idea. I wanted the ship to heel over through the force of the waves that were battering her. Next we begin sketching out the ship, first from the side to get a good grasp of all the details and then from a bird's eye view as that is how I will eventually paint her. This also means that for once I could not use a van der Velde drawing and instead I had to rely on a photograph of a model. And now it's time for the real painting. As always we start with a quick layer of acrylics and then we can start painting the sky. For this I was inspired by a painting by Ludolf Backhuizen, a German painter who became one of the most successful maritime painters in the Netherlands after the van der Velders left for England in 1672. Sadly this painting can't really be found online so I have no better picture than this. While HMS Sussex sank during the night, I chose to make it dawn, so that you can at least see something. And I also just really wanted to make a painting with some warmer colors for once. I wanted the water to exude the energy of the storm, with tall waves, deep troughs and big splashes of turquoise foam. The ship itself is a typical English design, with wonderfully elaborate gold-coloured wood carving covering most of the stern. When she was built, there were some doubts over her stability, as she was a two-decker of 80 guns and ships of her size usually had three decks. But whether this contributed to her eventual sinking will probably never be known. Her first and final voyage took place during the Nine Years' War from 1688 to 1697, one of many wars fought between France and the coalition of European powers, often led by Britain, which sought to prevent French domination of the continent. In 1693 the British wanted the Kingdom of Savoy, present-day northern Italy, to join the war against France and open up a new front. HMS Sussex was selected to transport the 10 tons of gold coins that was meant to convince the King of Savoy to join the coalition. And so on December 27, 1693, she would set sail as one of 48 warships that would escort 166 merchants into the Mediterranean. But as the fleet passed the Rock of Gibraltar on February 27, 1694, it was hit by a violent storm. As she was being flooded with water, I used some downward brush strokes to create the impression of reflection on the wet planks of the deck. I imagined that the storm must have damaged her masts and that her sails must have been shortened, with the mainsail being taken down all the way and the main and mizzen topmasts having gone overboard, 
though the mizzen topmast is still being dragged along, and the mainsail on the foremast is completely out of control. The HMS Sussex was one of 13 ships that were lost that night, along with 1,200 sailors. It was a big blow for the Royal Navy and is a stark reminder of how dangerous sailing was during the 17th century, even for powerful warships. Savoy would eventually join the French side and the European powers would fight each other to a standstill and make a brief peace in 1697. And as a final touch we add the ship's rigging. This is always the most nerve-wracking part of a painting, as a single bad stroke can take ages to cover up. And with that we have a finished painting. And here we can see how the painting evolved from a pencil sketch, to an oil sketch, to the final finished piece. Some sources say that a captain eventually washed ashore on a Spanish beach, still in his nightshirt, though the gold of HMS Sussex has never been found. Though not for lack of trying, there have been multiple expeditions and great controversy during the 21st century over attempts to retrieve a treasure. For now I would like to thank everyone who has made it all the way to the end. I know it has been a while since my last video, but they hope that the next one, which will again be slightly lighter in tone, won't take as long. Goodbye for now, and until next time.